Hey, what's up, guys? Freezing cold night here in the shop. You might even be able to hear the wind through the camera mic there right now. It's just blowing like crazy, but I'm hunkered down in here. No stove going because I don't have a stove, but things still got to get done. Tonight, we've got a little mini restoration. And that's, uh, if you're just tuning into my channel for the first time, I love my old woodworking hand tools. I've got a few fantastic examples here. Just love them. I restore a lot of them. And tonight we're going to restore a small one that's going to aid in using all these. Um, have a look at this plane. This is roughly a two foot long hand plane. Check out the scale of that. Stanley Bailey number seven. This is my biggest plane. I just got this for Christmas from my good friend Ray, Ray Bartlett. If you've been watching the channel a while, you've seen Ray plenty of times, especially in the hike videos, but uh, Stanley Bailey number seven he restored and gave to me for Christmas, fantastic. He actually posted most of the, this restoration job on his YouTube channel, and I was watching along not knowing this plane was gonna be mine, and he had a plan to be mine the whole time. So fantastic gift, thank you buddy. What I have here tonight is another gift and that's from Gary France from Newfoundland. Hope I'm pronouncing your name right, bud. This is the coolest screwdriver I've ever seen. Gary messaged me, said that he, uh, he loves watching my videos, loves watching the old hand tools, but he didn't like seeing me adjusting this old, these old hand tools with my plastic kind of crappy Mastercraft screwdrivers, just the hardware store screwdrivers kind of took a little bit of class out of the picture and I knew exactly what he meant when he said it because I felt the same way like there's got to be a better idea something to just completely contain that heritage process all in one and what he sent me was something really cool here you all know I love my brass this is a big hunk of brass here I've never seen one of these before maybe some of you guys have it says on it um, made in USA screwdriver and it says four in one and it has a pretty distinct see if I can show you here it's a pretty distinct stamp it looks like the four in one is the name of the screwdriver super cool chunk of brass here but it gets even cooler first of all this is just pure class to be able to once we restore this and you know this brass is going to look gorgeous to have a gorgeous piece like this for restoring or for using and adjusting say my record here all these little screws that needs adjustments to have something like this is so precious but what's even cooler when I got it I turned this piece and out came a second screwdriver. <laughs> How cool is that? A second screwdriver, a smaller version. Now, I, my dad came to visit me and I showed him this piece that Gary had sent me and we thought it was really cool. And my dad sat down and opened it up like this and then he turned it again. And out came this screwdriver and then he turned it again and out is a fourth screwdriver how cool is that I was blown away because I just thought it was a two screwdrivers which was really really cool but he found yet another one and that is so awesome so uh, I can't remember how does this go okay yeah this is right here so you put that back together here now and then you've got that little medium one and then back to the full size one when you turn it all together completely so that is such a cool piece that we're gonna restore now in a minute I was saying to Ray the other day showing him the screwdriver you know at first I was like ah, it's a little bit gimmicky it's uh I don't know, it doesn't have the full class. But I think what the difference is, a lot of times we think of multi-tools and it's like, yeah, they do a whole bunch of different jobs, but they don't do anything real well. Sure, you've got a knife there, but it's kind of a half knife. Uh, sure, you've got a file, but really is it that good of a file? Yeah, you've got pliers, but 
Eh, it's not like having a good pair of channel locks. This does every job equally well because it's just four flat top screwdrivers and you have four different sizes and neither one affects the operation of the other. Here we have a full size flat top or standard screwdriver and if I open that up I have a smaller size and it does not affect this one. You never need to open this up if you don't need to and it does not affect the screwdriver. So that's fantastic. Enough chatting. This is a super cool piece and I can't wait. It should be a real easy restoration. I'll throw it on the wire wheel here and we'll watch this just come alive. I just love cleaning brass because it's such a rewarding experience. I'm going to square off the top of this too. It's gotten a little bit rounded there. Gary tells me, just another piece of information, Gary tells me that I believe it was his father was helping some friends, family friends or something, um, do some work, renovate an old house, and they found this tucked inside the joist in the wall. They found it tucked in behind the wallboard, so that's really cool, and it was really nice of him to send this along to me. Thanks so much, Gary. Let's get along to the restoration. Going to use my trusty, uh, my trusty bench. This is a brass wheel. On my bench grinder, I've got a felt wheel over here. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it yet. We'll see how it turns out. Starting off with the steel screwdriver portion. How's that for classy? Now I can adjust my tools, all those little adjustment screws, this beautiful piece of brass. So I don't have to step out of that realm, I don't have to step out of that zone to get one of those old blue screwdrivers. I can stay right in my element and work away. All I did with this, uh, this biggest one, it had a rounded top, a worn rounded top here. So I just uh, squared up the edges, just filed it in a little bit with a, with a mill bastard. And now it's beautiful. Thank you to Gary for sending this in, making this video possible, and giving me a gift like this. This is really cool, buddy. Uh, I really appreciate it. It'll go in my collection. I'll enjoy it for years to come. And one day, probably, some of my kids will inherit it. That's really cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button. Please, it helps me out. Uh, comment down below. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. We'll see you in the next video.